The only set of people who think there is any kind of smoking gun with which to nail Bola Tinubu in the rehash of the old wives' tales, David Undey in Concotec, are the same people who never see anything good in Tinubu. It needs to be asked how anyone could think the FBI and the DEA will allow a drug dealer or a man running a drug cartel to go scot-free without conviction as well as leaving him to go and live a lush life on the proceeds of crime. We are talking about the same man who goes in and out of the US and Europe since 1992. He actually resided in the US all through the exilic period induced by the late dictator Sani Abacha. Ashiwaju Tinubu has gone to deliver lectures at top policy think tank institutes like Chatham House, Woodrow Center, Council on Foreign Relations, and etc. in the US, UK, and around Europe. He just returned from a two-week official visit to France, yet he was not a subject of interest for the FBI, Interpol, and DEA all through. We know the kind of efforts the FBI invests to get extradition of those on their wanted list of crimes. They spared no effort to get late Senator Buruji Kashamu for drug crime purportedly committed in the 90s. Former Vice President Atiku, that was indicted in a corruption case in the U.S., could not visit the country until a special arrangement was brokered for him before the 2019 general election. And since then, Atiku has not gone to the U.S. again. Tinubu has been traveling in and out of these countries and the U.S. unhindered, but someone wants us to accept that retelling the same old story is a product of investigative reporting. Here are three key issues of common sense and rational thinking. Number one, the U.S. will not settle any case of drug and other narcotics dealings with money where a prima facie case is established against a drug baron. Number two, the U.S. government will never allow a drug dealer to go with any amount from proceeds of crime. Number three, a man that has not been convicted of any crime in any country and jurisdiction of the world cannot be convicted by a disgruntled investigative journalist. If the U.S. allowed Tinubu to go free without conviction of any drug crime and other crimes, it means the FBI and DEA and indeed all law enforcement agencies including IRS had no evidence upon which Tinubu can be found guilty. Hundei knows his audience and how excitable and unquestioning they can be. With his misdirected crap on Tinubu, the investigative journalist has again served his unthinking audience their regular opium. Don't forget to like, comment, and share more of our videos right here at News Pop NG. I'm Akan Paul. Thank you for watching.